You are welcome back to study section H on HG302. In the previous study section, we discussed the meaning of factors of production and their characteristics features of land, capital, labor. But this study section will be devoted to entrepreneur. At the end of this study section, you should be able to divine entrepreneur, explain why entrepreneur is separated from labor and explain farm organizational charts. Let's discuss this learning act come one after the other. Entrepreneur or enterprise or organization describes the function of taking decision about what to produce, who combines the other factors of production to produce what has been decided on. An entrepreneur combines and organizes land, labor and capital in such a way as to obtain maximum production of goods and services at minimum cost. The entrepreneur, that is the individual or person who risks his capital in establishing a business whose profitability cannot be determined at that time. The reward for entrepreneur is profit or loss. The reason for separating entrepreneur from labor is based on the crucial functions which entrepreneur perform, which labor does not perform. So these functions include provision of capital. This is one of the most important functions performed by the entrepreneur, which labor does not perform. It provides the capital for the formation of the business. It also provides capital for the formation of the, it also provides capital for carrying out production activities of the business risk bearing entrepreneur bears all the risks that occur in business as the provider of capital if the business fails he bears all the losses alone that is why his reward is either profit or loss he takes decisions decision taking is another important function of entrepreneur there are many decisions confronting business organization in farm business, entrepreneurs are confronted with such decisions as what to produce, how to produce, and how to produce. Coordination of other factors. The entrepreneur combines and coordinates other factors of production in order to achieve meaningful production. So, efficient management. The entrepreneur pays the role of maintaining efficient management in production lines miscellaneous functions these functions include dissemination of price of goods produced ensuring good working condition for the workers determining the scale of production whom to employ and to retrench or retire all those all those things that has been discussed are the function performed by entrepreneur which make them to be different from labor. Agricultural businesses are made up of people working together towards a common goal or purpose. As soon as the agribusiness involves more than one person, a variety of organization, personnel, leadership, and motivational use, inevitable arises. The larger the organization, the more complex and critical the EUs become. So the typical form organizational structure above provides a cordial relationship between farm management and farm workers. The highest authority in a farm organization is the general manager who may be the owner of the business or employed to perform the duty. Next to him is the assistant general manager. After the assistant general manager, the running of the business is being divided into various units, which are financial controller, livestock manager, crop manager, director of administration. I hope you've learned one or two things from this video section. Kindly read more in your study materials for more understanding and explanation. Join me for the next study section. Thank you for listening.